हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप सो दिस इज डॉक्टर रोमन सैनी एंड ड्यू टू हैव अ डिमांड आई हैव मेड दिस वीडियो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डिमोलिशिंग सीएससी मेंस इन 100 डेज दिस इज द पार्ट 1 ऑब्वियसली दिस इज द YouTube चैनल अन एकेडमी एंड दिस इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस इज मी दिस इज मी स्माइलिंग हियर इफ यू वांट टू रीड मोर अबाउट मी you can read on my facebook page that is facebook.com/romansaini.official message your query there and i'll reply as soon as possible then this is the quote i always quote even in the prelims video if you have not seen do check it out because this is complimentary to that this is nothing uh, this will add on to that so please check out how to demolish csc 2015 prelims even if you are not giving it so if you are not living on the edge you are taking too much space it means that you have to be high risk taker please take more risk please take more risk if you want to achieve something in life you have to take risk even if you fail doesn't matter you will fail anyway so you have to be slightly more risk friendly than risk averse and always take something called as calculated risk so in mains i'll be telling you to attempt all 25 questions or at least 23 questions that is do not just come home by attempting 15 questions very well do not make such mistakes then this is the pattern of the mains examination this will this was the pattern which was introduced in 2013 for the first time and it will continue in 2014 as well so essay is the first paper and it carries 250 marks then general studies ke char paper honge each is 250 marks total 1000 so 250 plus 1000 and then optional 500 so that gives a total of 1700 5 T plus 275 marks of interview, so you will get 200 2025 marks. So then you have an optional. I uh, will be talking about optional in detail later on. And then there is an English paper which is qualifying nature. It is of 300 marks, but mark doesn't matter. And then there is any modern Indian language which is 45% of the aspirants take Hindi, but you can take any of the modern Indian language. and then uh, you have to get into preparation mode it will be slightly different first of all you uh, please watch the prelims 2015 demolish video before coming here so you have to watch something called as romans rituals so how to proceed about preparation then you need to prepare a book list it is extremely important that you know what to read again what is the importance of test series should you join a test series now or should you not join a test series then how to revise because we just have 100 days left before the mains examination and it will be the case next year also then whether to attend classes or not and how to do self study and the most important section what are the books to be avoided so please focus here so these are my rituals which i uh, did after clearing the prelims uh, starting from june 2013 to mains 2013 uh, that is in december so i attended the classes i attended the classes without fail then i did not wait for prelims result i just waited for one week one week was the time i took so you can wait for one week and then you have to begin your studies then you have to do self study now for 10 to 12 hours per day so if you watch my last video i am recommending there 6 hours per day and now i am recommending 12 hours per day so for next 100 days you will be reading for 1200 hours per day then you have to do something i called as revise daily please please revise daily then you have to have a leisure hour of 1 hour per day that is extremely important see revising daily helps because you will be able to remember keywords and key phrases which you can reproduce in the examination then leisure hour for 1 hour helps you unwind you can take it 15 minutes four times break it doesn't really matter or 10 minutes ke chhe break it doesn't really matter as long as you are unwinding yourself then obviously you have to keep going out and social media to absolute bare minimum so these are the things then you have to put good food in your body it's extremely important that you do it then you have to exercise 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 does not mean pumping iron it just means walking then don't drink smoke sleep for 8 hours you will not fall sick and you will have lots of energy left for your preparation then these are my marks which i got in the mains of 2013 so i got 145 marks in essay 97 marks in paper 1 61 in paper 2 108 in paper 3 98 in gs paper 4 221 in medical science so this gives us a total of 730 out of 1750 they are the fourth highest in india so i'll be telling you what i did to get these marks so here is the book list first we have tips and tricks 
tips and tricks it's tricky to speak it see you will get 180 minutes so 5 minutes are removed for signature and all so you have to sign so many places you will feel like your property is being transferred <laughs> so you have to sign so many places so you just have 175 minutes left and 25 questions it does not include sub parts if you include sub part there are more than 30 questions anyway so you will get 7 minutes per big question so just you have to write now since we have paucity of the time extreme shortage of the time so i just want you to write one line introduction and one light conclusion that's it you have to write keywords and key phrases that's it you have to write in bullet points which is the only thing that can save you see the time is very very less 7 minutes per question is not good enough time sir and ma'am to write in elaborate details so you just need to write what you can then you have to answer writing practice answer writing practice which is it is not highly recommended that you start now but what i want you to do is you start 2 months before the exam it is more than sufficient it's more than sufficient then you have to use pilot v5 pen not v7 see when you use v7 what happens is if you mark like this so it gets seen in the back back side of the same page so your answer sheet gets destroyed so please use pilot v5 and you can use a black pen it provides a good contrast and it looks good to the eye you can also use a blue pen there is no hard and fast rule but whichever pen you use do not switch between pens agar blue liya hai to blue se likhna hai black liya hai to black se likhna hai don't switch in between for highlighting and all please highlight with the same pen highlight with the same pen same pen should be remaining same then do not think too much in the examination you will not get time you can think for 30 seconds that's it then you just have to write all the keywords and key phrases which are popping in your head so please make sure that you remember these tips so this is the mains book list so first thing first many people approximately 10% of the population will be failing and graduates including all india institute of medical sciences and iits they do fail in hindi also and english also so 10% of the mains population so last year it was 15000 who gave mains so approximately 1500 failed so their copies are not even checked they are just thrown away in the dustbin so do not be in that 10% category so i want you to read english by unique publication and hindi by unique publication right now today just go them buy them and read it for one two days and you will be 100% sure that at least your copies will be evaluated or kuch nahi to kam se kam copies to evaluate ho jayengi then you have current affairs so for that you need to read the hindu and yojana from november to november so let's say if you are appearing this year december so you have to start from november of 2013 and you have to continue till november of 2014 and the mains examination will be in the 12th of december so and it will last for 5 6 days and then you have to read wajiram's current affair booklets last 6 to 7 booklets you can easily read them they are available in market then for essay uh, since i have got 145 marks so i'll be taking contribution from a 150 marker uh, girl and 160 mark also so this year highest are 160 marks by hemant so i'll be taking their input and if you want me to i'll make a separate video lesson on it so this is the book list uh, this is a gs paper 1 and this is geography so we start with gs paper 1 includes geography and history that's it so please start from ncert 6 to 12 no matter what people say read from 6 to 12 they come in the exam then gc leong at least part 1 if not part 2 part 2 you can skim through not completely skip then for world history please watch my videos they are exhaustive you do not need to do anything else just the complete world history series starting from way back from american revolution and going till world war 2 please watch them on my videos and if you still want to read a book read norman lo then for ancient history art and culture obviously i have made many videos so you watch my videos first then go to old ncerts they are preferable and you can also go to new ncerts they are equally good old ncerts is slightly better and 11th and 12th ncerts you have to read then for medieval history if you want me to i'll make a video very very soon and then the ncerts obviously so ncerts of medieval history you can read do not read which battle was fought where read sufism bhaktism architecture read about literature read about the socio economic and political 
life of that particular society what is the difference between pahadi painting and mughal painting these kind of questions you need to remember then for modern history i always say spectrum a brief history of modern india is more than sufficient then you have to read ncrts obviously 6 to 10th are covered 11th and 12th you have to read then please remember focus on timeline even prelims mein to bahut important hota hai even in mains it's absolutely important that you focus on timeline then you have to focus on special topics see for paper 1 uh, there are certain special topics i can make videos so you do let me know which topic you want me to make a video on so moving forward so this is the last slide for this thing so gs paper 2 uh, so ncrts are the must it is about international relation and polity and good governance and development so this is in short the paper so ncrts do read from 6 to 12th no questions asked then lakshmikant is still the single most important book do not go for dd basu or subhash kashyap then vajiram what they do is they update a yellow book mains updated yellow book it covers rti and all cag and everything is covered there they are available in market you can buy them just for this purpose paper 2 it will be talking about what is good governance what is so for specific topics also what you can do is you can google them and you just need to write the keywords that's it for international relation you need to read ravindran sir notes or if you do not have access to them the market you can follow the hindu and yojana plus please make sure whichever ambassador is visiting india you uh, write a note on it or whichever ambassador is going outside india you write a note on that also then for recent amendments laws bills drafts etc you need to go to a website called as prs india so many things i want to tell you because of the lack of the time i will not be able to tell you in this video so uh, the framework will be going something like this so i can teach you the essay part first thing first then i can teach you uh, all the paper 1 2 3 and 4 what are the important topics my complete syllabus coverage so this is the second video i can make complete coverage of all the topics and third on how to write a good answer so these are the three things which i'll be covering if you want me to do let me know so anyways spread the word like a wildfire because time for a little revolution in education my only motto is free education for all that's it no need to go to anything any else just sit at the comfort of your home and enjoy the videos they'll always be free and always will be so if you have still any query you can ping me at my facebook page facebook.com/romanseni.official or you can tweet to me at my twitter handle at @romanseni this is the youtube channel an academy do like share and subscribe thank you and best of luck for your preparation